Hey guys, what's up? My name is Michael Shu, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna teach all of you how to chair fly with this. What? I was first started learning how to fly. My instructor was like, "All right, Michael, go home and chair fly." I'm like, "What is chair flying?" So I go on YouTube and go, "How to chair fly." And there wasn't a lot of videos on chair flying, so I thought I would make a video for all of you on how to chair fly. First of all, you might be wondering what is chair flying? Chair flying is exactly as it sounds. You are pretending you're in the airplane and flying in your chair. And this can help with when you're in the airplane, you're more familiar with the moves and it's cheap so you don't have to pay the cost to be in the airplane to actually practice those maneuvers. So when you do chair flying, you're practicing the muscle memory on when to do different things. So for example, you're doing like steep turns or stalls, you go power 15, flaps 10, and you do that over and over again. So when you're actually in the airplane, you don't kind of fumble around what to do first, flaps or landing gear or power 15, you already know, you go boom, power 15, boom, flaps 10, boom, increase pitch. So all of this, you're building up that muscle memory. So when you're in the plane, you know exactly what to do. You guys still might be confused at this point, like, how do you do it? So let me give you a real example of me chair flying a landing. You guys ready? Tweet left, clear land for Cessna 513, golf. All right, we're on down one, do our B-gumps, brakes check, gas, good, undercarriage, fix, make sure full rich, props are secure. And seat and seat belts locked and fastened, switches are all on. On down we're going 90 and we're looking for our beam or touchdown point, alright? A beam or touchdown point, power 15, flaps 10. Increase pitch a little bit, we're going 80, airspeed 80, airspeed is king for landing. Looking for the 45 now. 45, 45, 45, turning base. Turning base. We'll stay coordinated, flaps 20. Alright, go on 80, go on 80, constant descent, make sure our power is good, we're not too high, and turning final, stay coordinated with the rudders, alright, flaps all the way in, alright, whoa, whoa, there's a crosswind, so ailerons into the wind, opposite rudder, stay longitudinally aligned, not too high, not say 70, low power, a little too low, alright, don't forget, pitches for airspeed, Powers for attitude, altitude. All right, and round out. Not don't ink it too hard. Just gentle, small movements, and touchdown. All right, flaps up, full power, touch and go. Looking for the 55. All right, 55, and rotate. There we go. And that's how you do chair flying for landing. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video of me chair flying a landing. I was acting a little bit, adding a little bit more stuff, but that's how a real flight would be like. But when you do chair fly, you just have to say all the essential stuff. So example, like a beam touchdown point, power 15, flaps 10, 45, turning base, all right, flaps 20, all right, turning final, flaps 30. Like those are all the things. Just practice that over and over and over again so that when you're in the airplane, you're not fumbling around, you know exactly what to look for, looking for the touchdown point, and then you know exactly what to do when you're at your touchdown point power 15 and flaps 10 and you know exactly what to do next when to turn base and once you're at final what to do so you can do that for your landings for your power on power off stalls you can do this for all the different maneuvers just to get familiar and build up that muscle memory so that when you're up in the airplane you know exactly what to do finger guns so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys if you thought that video was helpful, be sure to like it, leave a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment so I know you have feedback. I know what to do next, guys. I'll see you guys in the video. Michael Shu out.